If you have around a thousand dollars to spend and you want to buy a new gaming PC build that's going to achieve a really smooth performance when it comes to 1080p, 1440p or even 4k resolution, this video is going to be for you. I will show you the perfect $1000 gaming PC build and I will also show you different alternatives in case you want to spend a bit less or in case you have more money to spend. And of course I'll show you the level of performance that you can expect from these systems that way if you end up buying one of these PCs you know what to expect. The links to this PC and all of the alternatives that I'm going to mention today will be down in the video description. My name is Valentino and with that being said let's start. So first I'm going to start by talking about the main PC. This one will allow you to play any game at 1440p high to ultra settings with no issues. You can also play at 4k and if you play at 1080p you will be achieving very high frame rates. But anyway the reason why this system is so great when it comes to 1440p is because of the CPU and GPU combo. Here I went with the Ryzen 5 7500F which is one of my favorite CPUs in the entire market because you are on the AM5 platform meaning that it's very upgradable over time and in terms of gaming performance with this Ryzen 5 7500F and the RX 7800 XT graphics card which I chose for this system you will be able to achieve 240 plus FPS on average at 1440p in eSports shooters and in some cases even more than 360 FPS so if you are looking for a 240Hz or even 360Hz 1440p monitor feel free to buy one since this system is going to support it and then if you want to play high demanding titles in those type of titles on a very high demanding test on high to ultra settings the rx 7800 xt was able to average 100 fps which is a very nice level of performance honestly anything over 70 fps on average in these type of games means that you are going to be getting a very smooth level of performance then if you drop down to 1080p you can expect over 130 fps so very high frame rates because we are talking about high demanding titles and then at 4k you can expect around 60 fps on average but if you are going to be playing at 4k in the latest most high demanding titles well in that case i highly recommend you turning on fsr which is the upscaler from amd and instead of achieving an average of around 60 you will be reaching 70 to 90 plus fps on average depending on the game and depending on the settings which is a much more playable experience. That being said, as you can see with this system, you can play any game in any resolution, but you have to know one thing and that is that the Ryzen 5 7500F CPU can only be purchased through AliExpress. Now it is reliable so you can buy it from there, but if you do not want to buy from AliExpress, which I do understand, I have a different alternative for you and I will get to that in a second. But before doing that, I want to talk about the rest of the components. Here you get an aftermarket CPU cooler, which is going to keep the temps low and also it looks amazing in terms of aesthetics. Then for the motherboard, you get the ASRock B650M Pro RS. This is one of the best motherboards in terms of price over performance from the AM5 platform because here you are able to, as I said before, upgrade to fast CPUs in the market because the VRMs are quite good and it's not going to thermal throttle your system so this is a very nice motherboard with plenty of features for gaming. Speaking about gaming, this PC is not only capable of gaming but also with streaming since you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, one of the fastest speeds in the market in 6000 MHz CL30 timings. Now most beginners do not understand these numbers, but basically this is a very fast kit. You will be able to do streaming, content creation and productivity work on the side without any issues. Then you get a 1TB Gen 4 SSD that you can always operate on the line if you ever need more storage. Then for the case we have the Phoenix Nova Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This one is amazing honestly because you get 3 pre-installed RGB fans, it has a front mesh panel, so the airflow here is very nice and the price is very nice as well. So considering that the airflow and price are both great, that's why I went with this one. And last but not least, we have the power supply right now going on a discount in the NCXT C750. This is an A tier rated power supply meaning that it's going to be the best quality out there. It is from NCXT, so a reliable brand and 750 watts is definitely more than enough for this system. Now the total price for this system when I'm recording this video is 1050 bucks and remember that maybe when you're watching this the price is different because they keep changing every single day so if you want to check the latest prices check these components from the links down in the description. Now, as I said before, I got you covered if you do not want to buy from AliExpress. In that case, I recommend you getting the Ryzen 7 5700X3D CPU, another motherboard 
and a different type of RAM. Don't worry, those alternatives will be featured in the description as well. But here you have to know two things. Well, the first one is that the level of gaming performance between the 5700X3D and 7500F are basically the same. You are not going to notice a difference. So in terms of gaming performance, it is the same. But the only difference is that with the 5700X3D, you are on a different platform, which is older, meaning that this is the best CPU from the platform. And if you want to upgrade to a faster one down the line, you will have to upgrade your motherboard and your RAM, so it's going to be a more expensive upgrade. However, if you really don't want to buy from AliExpress, this is your best option. Also, with the 5700X3D, you need slightly better cooling, so I went with a different aftermarket CPU cooler, and the total price when I'm recording this video for that system is going to be around 1040 bucks. Now, if you have more money to spend, I highly recommend you getting the Ryzen 5 7600X CPU. This is going to be a great option because right now the 7600X is going on a discount and if you spend 30 to 40 dollars more you can get this entire system with this CPU which is a much better option than any of the other two because one you are not buying from AliExpress so if you didn't want to buy from there that's a pro and two because the 7600X is from the AM5 platform it's more upgradable over time and also it is faster in terms of performance compared to the 7500F and 5700X3D and the price difference is not that big because for $1,080 you can get this entire system with the 7600X so I believe this is your best option but if you have a budget of around $1,000 and you just don't want to spend anything more than $1,000 then I have another system for you. Just keep in mind highly recommend you considering this one and spending the extra $80 if you have around $1,000 to spend and if you were going to buy the $1,050 PC with the 7500F or the 5700X3D going for a cheap price for a thousand and forty well in that case i highly recommend you spending the extra 30 or 40 bucks and getting this one because you get the best from both worlds now if you want to stay under a thousand dollars and go with the i5 13400f and in terms of the level of performance you can still expect 240 plus fps on average but in high cpu demanding games the frame rates are going to be lower because the cpu is slower but the price here is under a thousand bucks and please remember that this may sound confusing, but you will have everything linked down below, pretty organized. That way you do not get lost and you also check the latest prices and availability. Now, if you have a different budget, let's say you want to spend less than $900 or maybe you can spend up to $1,200 or $1,300, bucks, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PC builds of the month for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution, all budgets included. That one will be in the cards in the top right of the screen and if you need my personal PC help where you want me to help you out with your specific budget and needs you can find my help in the top link in the description thank you guys for watching thank you for the support